Yo, hey everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is an actually uh, comes from across the pond here. This is Emily's Double IPA. This is their 7.5% uh, uh, ABV version. They also make a 9% version. And this is a product of Holland. It comes from Kemperland, the Netherlands. It is an American Double Imperial IPA or Double IPA. Well, it's actually a single IPA, 7.5, so it's actually not a double. It's close. It's got double on the bottle, but it's borderline. I mean, I usually don't consider it double until it gets about 8%. So we'll see how double it is when we get the cap off level, guys. Uh, like I said, it's American double. It says uh, cuisine is barbecue. The cheeses are peppery, Monterey, sharp, blue. Uh, your more punchy cheeses, Limburger, Gorgonzola. I mean, stronger dishes with your IPAs, guys, and especially a double IPA. So uh, the meat is game, grilled meat. Uh, I mean, all your spicy food, uh, tacos, uh, uh, Mexican foods, I mean, all your real spicy foods will go with your IPAs and double IPAs. Uh, the glassware, snipped or tulip, oversized wine, we've got the Dubell glass, you know, that's what I like to use for the Imperials and the Stout, so, uh, routine schedule on this, so I don't know how often they actually do it, it doesn't say here. So, uh, let's get the cap on, let's see what we got. It says can be cellars from 7.5, but it's an IPA guy, remember that, uh, it's going to lose its hoppiness over time. And it does have a date on the bottle of when it's Best Buy, so... As far as I'm concerned, IPA is Best Buy as soon as you can get it. Especially, uh, hoppy beers, so... Here we go, guys. Let's get it in the glass. Got a lot of junk in the bottom that I don't want up in here. So we're going to leave that in there. We don't want to turn that muddy water down in there, and that's a, it's a, it's an unfiltered beer, I'm sure. And that's why all that junk is in the bottom of there. So, if you like that stuff, pour it right on up in there. Uh, you might like the taste. I like to do that with some of the Belgian beers and yeast and stuff, and uh, I'll do half and taste it and drink some of it. Then I'll pour the other, swirl it around, and pour the other half in there. Just like having two different, two different styles or different kinds of beers in the same bottle. But the, the IPAs and all that kind of stuff, I don't like the sediment in the bottom there. I try to leave it in there, especially if it's bottle conditioned or, or it has some sediment or floaties down in there. So I like my beer a little bit clearer. So that looks like it's a nice tangerine orange color. And like I said, uh, I can see light through it fairly easy. See the bubble streaming up from the, the bottom of it. It looks rather nice in the glass. So let's get a nose on it and see what it's all about. This will be the first time I've had their beers. I have three of them to do. I have this one and the uh, the uh, Espresso Stout and the Russian Imperial. So you all probably see them those in the next couple of days coming up. So uh, when I get them like that, I'll probably like to get them together. And, you know, so I don't know if I'm going to do them back to back yet. We'll see what happens. So, so flapping my gums. Let's get a nose on it. Uh, smells like a double though. It's got that heavy, heavy malt sweet taste. Or smell. Smells very pleasant though. It's, a little, it's really not hot forward though for a double IPA. It's a little on the muted side. I was expecting the hops to blow blow my nose up here, so I'm not getting that. I'm getting more malt and uh and uh And actually the alcohol, the, the heaviness of the alcohol, 7.5%, so let's give it a taste, see, see, see what it's going to do here. Going to do. And see, they're, they're making this beer as in an American style. So they're trying to reproduce what we do over here. I don't even know what hops that they're trying to reproduce this with, whether well, they're using American hops to go in there or not. So, 
See what it say on the bottle here. Today IPA range is one of the most popular styles of craft ales in the United States. Where some of the most skilled art, 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 artisanal breweries are, one well, of the writing is very small in this bottle, are finding new ways to push the boundaries of the style. The double IPA pays tribute to the American style but with an original interpretation that makes it uniquely Zewer's beer? I can't even understand. I don't understand who, who that is. Maybe I should, huh? Oh well. Emily's Zewer's beer, so that must be part of their name, I guess. So it makes it makes it their beer. So it's a nice attempt. It's got the it's got the the grain bill to get the alcohol to seven point five, but like I said, I don't know what hops if they're going if they're using uh, European style hops, but. It's, it doesn't have the citrusy piney or the uh, the real strong either East Coast or West Coast smell. Oh well. Fairly easy drinking. I mean, it doesn't have any un unpleasant taste or anything. Well, I'm gonna sip on it. See how it goes. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be an A beer, guys. But uh, we're gonna let it warm up and sip on it. And see what we end up with here. And, I'll be right back and let's see what it is together. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. I've been sipping on this probably about uh, 30 minutes or so. It's warmed up right nice. Room temperature now. I'm sure this is probably a hoppy beer to them. <laughs> but it's not a hoppy beer to me. It's a... Uh, it'd be more of a, in a pale ale category than an IPA in my opinion. So. Uh, just not doing it for me, guys. So, with that being said, hopefully the stout, uh, the Russian Imperial, and the Espresso that I've got to do from then is going to be a little better than this one. So, yeah, I didn't see the nine percent version of it. So, we'll see what, what happens here. Final chug doesn't impress me, so as far as I'm concerned, this is a this is a C beer. Uh, they've been a pale ale. It might have got a B, but being uh, a double IPA. It doesn't fit that style to me, so uh, guys, let me know if you've had it. Uh, if you've seen it, pick it up, give it a try. Rate Beer has this at 54 overall and a 5 at a style. And Beer Advocate only had the 9% uh, listed. They didn't have a, a review of the 7.5, so I couldn't get any information on that. So, with that being said, guys, like I said, uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. Loved it, hated it. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and like I said, I don't know if uh, I'm going to do these back to back, but we'll see if you see uh, the espresso or the Russian Imperial Stout tomorrow, you know I decided to do it. So come on back tomorrow, see, what, see if I do or not. See you then, guys.